We move to Memphis now with a look at Lisa Marie Presley's final resting place at Graceland. You're the only people that can bring me out of my house. <laughs> Today, E.T. confirmed Elvis's only daughter has been laid to rest next to her son, Ben, at the Graceland Meditation Garden. Yesterday, it was coned off and covered with tarps, as the Graceland website noted. Following the 9 a.m. memorial service, all fans may join a procession to the Meditation Garden where Lisa Marie and her family have been laid to rest. Family is expected to attend Sunday's public memorial, including Lisa Marie's three daughters, who will inherit Elvis's estate. What is it like for them when they go there? Um, you know, they love it there and love their family. They love their family. Lisa Marie passed away last Thursday after suffering cardiac arrest. Meanwhile, Leslie Jordan's cause of death has just been revealed. The L.A. coroner says the 67-year-old died from sudden cardiac dysfunction while driving in Hollywood last October. Also in California, news on the intense search for missing actor Julian Sands now into day six. Audiences are always ready for good films. Famous for his film roles in A Room with a View and Leaving Las Vegas, Julian hasn't been seen since Friday morning when he left his L.A. home for a mountain hike 50 miles away in stormy weather. Authorities finding the 65-year-old's car in the parking lot, deserted since his disappearance. His wife did report him missing. The conditions are too dangerous. In fact, even some of the more experienced hikers are getting themselves into trouble up there. Sheriffs tell ET due to the risk of avalanche, ground crews were pulled off the mountain on Saturday. We continue to search by helicopter and drones and will schedule another ground search when the weather improves. ET met Julian when he was Jodie Foster's Oscar date in 1989. He's known to be an expert hiker and his three adult children have joined the search.